morning thinking it had all been a bad dream. The team coach, along with the players' kit, impounded by the law, and within five minutes, Kerry Dixon had put Chelsea in front. Gary Lineker had what looked to be a perfectly good goal ruled out, and just as Venables was gathering his thoughts for the half-time G-up, Torsved could only divert Dury's volley into Bumstead's path, and Spurs were two down. Ten minutes into the second half, and one of Gaza's party pieces. Everyone knew where it was going, but there was nothing anyone could do, although Bessent certainly did his best. A few minutes later, Spurs were back to two down. Mitchell Thomas heading clear, but not really far enough, and straight to Dury, who whipped it back with Torsfed clapping. Well, the nightmares got worse. Lineker's pace was matched by Bessent. A high-speed collision was inevitable, and so one would have thought was the outcome but you should never take anything for granted. But before the end, Gary moved into double figures for the season from Stewart's pass, but this was Spurs' first away defeat and a day they'll want to forget.